Here is my quick five minute face tutorial so that you can run out the door quickly looking refreshed and having glowing skin. I always start with my eyebrows because eyebrows frame your face and your eyes beautifully. Be sure to focus the color more on the outer half of your eyebrow. Otherwise, you'll end up looking like mommy dearest if it's heavy near your nose. Next up, I use a BB cream underneath my eyes in a light shade. It has SPF 40 and this helps cover up any bags or redness that I have. You'll notice that I don't really use brushes a lot. I use my finger and just make sure to press it into your skin as opposed to dragging it. I then go in with a little bit of a darker shade of BB cream. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. And I spread that over my entire face. I do rub that everywhere. It again has SPF 40, which is so important. And when you're using this, don't forget to bring it down your neck as well, because nothing looks more silly than a face that has a lot of color and then your neck is pure white. And I think you can see that it doesn't give a lot of coverage. It's not like a foundation. It's just like a tint because I don't really like heavy makeup. I then go back in with the lighter shade of BB cream just to go underneath my eyes one more time to make sure that I have fully covered up the bags underneath my eyes. If you have any little red marks like around your nose, we tend to get a little bit of broken blood vessels as we get older. So I use the remaining BB cream to cover those up. Next up, I use our bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's great for multitasking. So I start with a little bit of a brush. Uh, I love this little brush. It's sort of compact and fits into your purse easily. But I use it on my cheekbones for some definition. And then I'll use it along my hairline. Sometimes I touch it to the bottom of my nose and then along my jaw line for some more definition as well. After that, I go in with an eyeshadow brush. So I like to use this bronzer as a multitasker and use it as an eyeshadow as well. It's a beautiful color and it works really well. What it does is as we age, the skin on our eyelids becomes thinner. So blood vessels and veins become more visible, which tend to make your eye look more red and more tired. So I love using the bronzer as an eyeshadow to cover up all of that stuff. Let's see if you guys can see the difference when I'm done. It's definitely hard for me learning how to do my makeup in a mirror. So there, the bronzer definitely takes away the visible veins. So next up, I use our gel blush. I love this stuff. I know it looks so fluorescent, right? This is the pink color. It comes in three different shades, but just pressing it into your skin on the apples of your cheeks and always for ladies our age, always bring it up. Bring it up towards your temples so that it rises, it lifts everything. So this is the pink, but it adds a nice glow. So back to my eyebrows real quick. After the little bit of color sets in, I love using this brow gel. The one that we have helps to strengthen your brow hair. And it's flake-free in a buildable formula that really works to fluff and lift your brows and it sets them in place. You can tell I'm a little eyebrow obsessed. Okay, so next I just go in with a little bit of an eyeliner. My eyes are green, so I like to use a green color just along the lash line of my lower lid. Again, you'll notice at the corner, bring the little bit of the liner up towards your temple. Remember, you're gonna carry everything up so that your eyes are drawn up when people look at you, not down. Then I go in with a little bit of a black eyeliner. I like to go again just along my lash line. And sometimes it's hard to get that right on your lashes. I know I hate when people look down and you see like a big black line. So I try to do it right on my lashes and then I use this little fine brush and I just smudge it because I really want it to look natural. So smudge, smudge, smudge. So far so good. Okay, over to the second side. Again, using the black just along my lash line, trying to stay as close as I can. Remember to end with it always going a little bit up towards your temple. Whoops, poked myself in the eye. Okay, go back in with your brush and try to smooth that line so that it looks really, really natural. Okay, so far so good. 
Next up, mascara. I used to use that big brand name. And I keep it to remind me to always check ingredients and that it's Leaping Bunny certified. So the mascara that I have that I love that I'm obsessed with Well, it's currently out of stock, but you can get on a wait list. So you can just drop the word wait list and I'll get you on that wait list. But it is vegan, gluten-free, no animal testing. It helps with decreasing hair fall and it has really increased the length of my lashes. So the other brand that I had shown before that I loved, it definitely gave me length like this does. Oops, got a little bit on my nose. So it definitely increased length like this one does as well. But the other one felt really crunchy, and I hated that. So this mascara I love because I really feel like it adds a lot of length to my lashes, but I can touch them and they feel soft, they feel natural, which they are, and not coated. And there's no flaking. I just think it's a fabulous mascara, so I'd love to share this one with you. Again, it's it's back ordered at the moment, but I can get you on a wait list, so as soon as it comes back in stock, I can share it with you. So let's get the finished product here for this mascara. For those of you who like really long lashes, it is buildable. I just like to go in with one coat and sort of be done. Okay, my hair is definitely causing some problems. But can you see the length of my lower lashes even there? It's pretty amazing. And there you have it. My last thing is to finish with a little lip color. So this one is Divine. My two favorite colors are Divine and Magnetic. I believe we have it in five liquid lipsticks. And it comes with this really cool little applicator that has a point at the end. So you can almost use it to line your lips with the color. And then there's a little bit of a pocket, like a little bit of a pad that holds more of the lipstick in there. And so you can use that then to just fill in the line that you just created. So the color lasts a really long time. It doesn't transfer to your cup or your glass or anything like that. And then I always, always, always have to finish with a spritz of this Hydrate and Refresh Mist. And it does just what it says, hydrates and refreshes. I love this stuff. It has a really light smell and I use it to set my makeup as well as a quick pick me up throughout the day. So what do you think? There's my five minute face. I feel like I look way more refreshed, not nearly as tired, but not too overly done up as well. So if you need any help picking out the right shade for the BB cream, again, it comes in nine shades or the correct color for your lip or blush, just drop me in the comments and I'll send you a color match.